Comet Chushin Sean Atlas, designated C 2023 A3. This is an intriguing celestial object, discovered in early 2023. It was first observed by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, also known as ATLAS for short, and independently verified by the Shushin Shan Observatory in China. This comet is on a retrograde orbit, and this means it moves in the opposite direction to most objects in the solar system. Its orbit is parabolic-like, with a perihelion distance of 0.39 astronomical units from the Sun. And this year, with a little luck and weather permitting, this comet is expected to become bright enough to be visible to the naked eye during its perihelion passage between September and October of this year. And the good news is, as of August 2024, the comet has a coma and a tail, and it has been brightening steadily and shows no signs at all of breaking up. Comet Shushi Sean Atlas is currently located in the constellation Sextans and is moving rapidly towards the inner solar system. Its brightness and visibility will peak around its closest approach to the Sun in October of this year. The comet is currently travelling around 50,000 miles per hour. It will reach its closest approach to the Sun in October the 10th in 2024, and it should be visible in the southwestern sky just after sunset, especially from the northern hemisphere. The best viewing period for the comet will likely be from October the 14th through October the 18th, when it will be just a few degrees above the western horizon after sunset. The Stereo Ahead spacecraft indicates that this comet is still alive and it will become visible, possibly in broad daylight for observers in the southern hemisphere around mid-September to October. However, its brightness might not reach the initially predicted levels due to fragmentation. The potential disintegration of Comet Shushi Sean Atlas offers a unique opportunity for scientists to study the process of comet fragmentation, and these observations could provide insights into the composition of comets and their behaviour under solar system heat and gravitational forces. But what do you guys think about this comet being visible in broad daylight? Comments below, and thank you for watching.